Well, everything I make ain't that great, but you guys rule with a house and a pool, with a house and a pool, with a house and a pool. Hello and welcome to YGR, also commonly referred to as You Guys Rule in a House with a Pool. I'm your host, King Mustard. I'm accessorized to the brim today. Oh, very clever, very clever. Okay, y'all, let's hop into it. Now, first off, these designs are probably about three months old. I'm trying to work through a lot of them to get like uh, uh, up close to where we are today <laughs> so that we can be working on a little bit more current of things. But uh, but but I, I thought it was unfair to just leave stuff out. So let's 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 get started. Rev your engines. First off, we're going to be working with a design from Daniel Young. Now this is called Tough Snails. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. It actually didn't hit me right away, but that's not your fault. It's, it's my fault for not being very intelligent. But uh, it's, it's a nail that's also a snail. <laughs> I think it's very genius. First off, great job. The idea is so cool. Good job, Daniel Young. Basically, the only thing that I think I would do is right now you have like a nice curve here, and then all this is whoop de loop de for me, it breaks a little bit on the bottom left turn. It hits kind of a hard corner, which I, I don't think necessarily helps the logo flow. I understand that um, snails look like this, like the back just jets out. But I think in this instance, it would be possible for us to just repeat this curve onto the left side. We get rid of this guy. All right. All right. All right, so that curve there, just repeating on the left, feels much better for me because it makes like a nice little curve, and I think you still get the you still get the snail idea. But you know, I don't really think if you wanted to keep it straight, that would be totally fine as well. Okay, the thing that I think perhaps needs the most work is just the uh, font that goes with the logo. So a couple things to remember and. These are my opinions, so feel free to crush my, my dreams and thoughts. <laughs> but you gotta remember, when you make everything all caps, it's actually harder to read. And people wanna read, people want emotionally, psychologically, we, we, we prefer to not read all caps things. Yeah, and then the second thing I think here is that the word tough is the thinner one, and snails is thicker. When we think of tough, I think it would make more sense for us to make tough a little bit thicker. Let's try to choose a front with a little bit more pizzazz. You know the little trail that snails leave around places? I think that's so cool. I wish when I walked I left a trail of icky juice. <laughs> oh, it's so terrible. Okay, my only font options are heavy and extra light. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna thicken this guy up some by um, expanding it. You can go uh, Command Shift O to convert to outlines, but that only works for text. So uh, then we can apply a, a stroke to it, right? A black stroke. I might go something like this, like a two point, and now we can expand it again, and then we'll just unite all the shapes. So now we should have something that works more interestingly with it. Yeah, you could keep it, you could, yeah, I could have left it maybe just one point bigger, but I think that, I think that works fine. But I think if it was up to me, perhaps I would just go for a more solid forest green that's kind of a, a maybe not a forest green, more of like a hunter green. So I think that rounding both the left bottom and the right bottom just gives it a nicer circular motion that makes it a little bit more appealing to to my eyeballs at least um you, you know other people could disagree ah i'm not i'm not the god of design i am just the champion of design <laughs> no okay so um and then the second thing is I think it just makes more sense if we have the word tough be the thick one because it's tough right so uh thank you daniel this is what i would do very subtle change, but I hope it helps a lot. Let me know in the poll right now if I butchered it or mustered it. Yeah, that's right. Mustard is a good thing, my friends, even though I hate mustard. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below if you hate mustard or not. 
I don't like it. I think it tastes gross. But in this context, if we muster it, it's very good. Very good, my friends. Okay. Quadruple snaps for Daniel Young. Very good job, man. Thank you so much for sending in your project. I know it was like three months ago and I'm just now getting to it, but I, I hope you're still around. I hope you're still around to see to see the logo. But uh, yeah, I went to your Behance. I think it was your Behance profile. I saw some of your other stuff. Very, very good job, man. Keep it, keep it going, you know? Keep walking the tightrope that is design. <laughs> okay, yeah, anyways, thank you very much, Daniel. All right, next up, my good people, we will be working with some artwork here from uh, Jack Burns. Now, Jack Burns is only 15. He's from England, and he's a super funny guy, super awesome guy. Uh, I, I know from his email. This is very, uh, this is pretty fun, whimsical. Okay, so this is what he's working with, Adventure to Mars. I would say it's very Elon Musk inspired, so uh, here's, here's a copy. Let's get going, Jack. Jack. Jack Opeco. Basically, we need a little bit higher contrast. Let me get rid of this gray here. Now I can make a black background, so it's just more um, more contrasty, and it, and it feels more like space. Good. The second thing I would do is try to give some life to this uh, adventure to Mars. I'm going to try some really cool bevel and emboss ideas yeah 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 yeah. our goal is to make it look kind of like rocks right okay all right so we added a little bit of outer glow just does this makes it a little bit more glowy right we did a color overlay eh, could go either way i like the blue uh because it juxtaposes the red the reddish planet a little bit i think that's nice okay i would probably move them all like down here or something. If we can add like a bunch of the atmosphere of space, just go online and find like a like a texture package that, that's white or something, and then just just bring it into your bring it into your world here. Okay, so I think it might be cool. We can definitely try a, an outer glow, right? That will help a lot. But I think we want it to be like a red, right? See, we can create more of a planet by making the contrast between the colors even more, between the light and dark even more. Let's take our ring here, and perhaps we can, we could like blur the edges. Okay, cool, so we got our little ring, we got the font, we got the space, we got our planet. Let's see what we can do to our rocket. I'm gonna grab a brush and we're gonna brush the bottom of the rocket, right? Let's make our fins a blue. Like that. Now we're gonna go back to our white so we can add a little bit of a highlight to the fin here. Okay, Jack. Whoa, my gosh. Okay, Jack, so uh, those are a few of the changes I would make to your design. Very good start. You have I mean, this is like three months ago, so <laughs> sorry. <laughs> All of your elements are solid. Uh, I like the font you used for Mars. was very interesting. Adventure 2 as well. It's very uh, space-like, so that was a good choice. I like the uh, polygonish, uh, poly art style you went for on the planet. That makes it very visually interesting and cool. I like the idea that the rocket's trail is the ring around Mars. Very interesting. So, uh... You've got all the base elements, super cool. I, I think what you just need to do is, you know, keep going with it. Keep going with it, right? Don't don't necessarily stop there. There's many different things you could do to add, add on to this. And I would just suggest that um, when you get to a point when you feel like, oh, it's good to go, maybe then look for like a second round. Go explore comic books or Pinterest, whatever, and see what what space scenes, what else there is, right? There's a lot of glowing things. There's a lot of texture in space, different things like that that we can bring in to really bring it more alive and create your world and create your vision just a little bit. Everybody, uh, elbow, elbow claps for Jack Burns. Good job, bro. Um, yeah, just keep going. I'm sure that you've already improved quite a bit in the last three months, so. Good on you, kudos, as it were. <laughs> Let me know if I butchered or mustarded this design for Jack, Jackie boy. Okay, dope boys and girls. 
I only had time for two designs today. I'm sorry, but to not leave you uh, haunting more, this is what I do, and probably this is what I'll do in our YGRs from now on, is uh, uh, some of you guys sent me phenomenal logo designs that I just thought were so cool. And the first one is uh, from Kharavaya. Pretty sure that's how you pronounce your name. If it's not, I'm sorry. But uh, <laughs> made a logo. And I'm going to give you a second to, s to see what it says. There's letters in there. There's a word. Can you read it? It says Baza, right? Yeah, super cool. B-A-Z-A. Now, it's also a face. Really, really good job. I just wanted to commend you on this one. So, yeah, everybody. This one's a, a triple snap on the right, triple snap on the left. Remember, if you can't triple snap, I don't know what to tell you. You got to go to snap school, my friend. <laughs> Just get sweatier hands. Just get nervous. <laughs> okay. And then the second up is uh, from Nikodem. Nikodem. This is a personal logo. I just thought it was super good, right? Super good. Uh, anytime I see somebody get away from their personal initials as their logo and do something phenomenal, which I'm still working on. I'm still working on it, guys. Ah, I know, I know, I know, I gotta, I'll get there, I'll get there someday, someday I hope to be as good as Nikodem. And basically, the hand is really cool, I love it, I love it. It's like the art is an extension of the hand because the fingers look like the pen. I don't know what else to say. Cool colors, little, little bit of texture adds a lot to it, I think. Line work is fantastic. So good job to Nikodem as well. Everybody, round of applause. This time, what I want is face claps. It sounds like that would hurt a lot. It doesn't hurt that much. <laughs> yeah, boy. Okay. All right. I just want to congratulate everybody who was on this. Uh, uh, it was on this episode of YGR, and I want to congratulate each and every one of you guys for being so creative and being part of the Design Champion community. Um, what I would really love is to see you guys tomorrow. And if you would like, leave a like on the video if you liked it. You know, it helps. Our mission is to be the greatest. The greatest design community ever. Yeah, that's right. Design champs. So uh, let me know in the comments below what you thought about the changes. If I much, if I mustered them or or or, or improved them. No, no. If I mustered them or butchered them. Stay tuned for tomorrow. I will be making. I don't know. I don't know yet. <laughs> Anyways, I will see you later, alligator. And stay awesome, possum. Bye, guys. I I feel like this is orange. Yeah, not some mustard.